Well, I'm looking forward to uh, Saturday, 7 Eastern time for the uh, Sports Illustrated Awards. Uh, you and Carrie Champion chat. We got Ocho on tomorrow's show to talk more about it and Lindsey Vaughn. And the thing I really like about it is this year the award goes to five athlete activists. So it's not just about what you're doing on the court or on the field or on the ice It's uh, or anywhere. It's often... So you've got um, LeBron, Naomi Osaka, Patrick Mahomes, Brianna Stewart, and L- L- Laurent Duvernay-Tardif, who opted out yeah, of that, the... that name was a lot of fun to say on set. I know, but, but his, yeah. sto- his story may be the, the most impressive one with him not playing uh, and defending the Ch- Chiefs title, but he's up in Canada uh, on the front lines battling COVID because he has he's a doctor. We try to get him on this Wednesday. Uh, he unfortunately had to cancel because he had extra rounds. Like, this is yeah, literally and, what's happening with him. And, and what's so cool, and I think it just shows where we really are, like I think as a planet and as a country and as a movement, is that the five best athletes, that everyone looks at Brianna Stewart, everyone looks at Patrick Mahomes, everyone looks at LeBron James, and you're like, yes, they're all worthy of the sports person of the year award. But the fact that you add activists to it and you're mm-hmm. like, oh, oh, oh wow. Patrick Mahomes maybe, you know, arguably on pace to be, you know, one of the great American athletes. Let's just forget about football. LeBron James and what he's accomplished in the last year. On top of it, the best athletes in the world are activists or are using their voice to help increase and uh, like a positive change, not just in our country, but like around the world. And that's really, I think that is something that I think Sports Illustrated did a great job of like, hey, not only are they the best athletes and they are deserving of the sports person of the year, they're also great activists. So let's really like lean into that and point out all the positive things that they're doing. Yeah, and it's going to stream across 20 or more platforms, uh, over 20 platforms on on Saturday. So it's uh, current, it's up to speed. And, you know, uh, anything I should ask Ocho? He didn't he didn't offer to give you Debo's, did he? No, uh, the, no, 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 no. Okay. No, he didn't. O- o- Ocho, Ocho, man, he was so much fun. He was just, uh, uh, honestly, like a, a lot of fun on set. Lindsey Vaughn, uh, Kerry Champion, obviously keeping us all together and locked in and having fun. Uh, it was. It was a great set. Like, Sports Illustrated was amazing. Um, some great performances. Steve Aoki, you get Shaq out in, in the DJ booth. Fantastic. We had Gucci Mane. We, it, it was just, honestly, they put on the events, and, they, and, and obviously a lot of it is recorded, but it's like to have, like, a 10-person Steve Aoki, you know, Coachella set be done was was uh, pretty pretty interesting to just kind of be the only people there watching him put on this amazing set for the people that are going to get to watch it at home. Fantastic. And the reason why I mentioned him offering you Debo's is uh, Ocho uh, told me he was going to get me Debo's. Um, I'm still waiting for them, and he offered them. He hold on, he offered them to me at the 2009 Pro Bowl. No, oh, and you didn't take him. He hasn't delivered them, Richard. It's 11 yeah. years waiting. And tomorrow, yeah. well, tomorrow I will bring the receipt, and it will be a phenomenal conversation it's tomorrow. It's a great conversation, oh. and I cannot, I cannot <laughs> wait. I will be tuning in. Literally, uh, over a decade, I've been, co- I've been waiting. I've been waiting and in the weeds for Ocho, um, and uh, it'll be great. But we'll promote this uh, wonderful event tomorrow. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.